Do you find yourself struggling to write catchy hooks, hooks that people sing, hooks that people mumble if they don't know the words? Are you tired of it? And if you want to fix it, I can help you. Just watch this video to the end. So let's get into it. The first thing that you're going to need to write a catchy hook is a captivating melody or catchy melody. Because you need a melody that's going to catch the listener's ear and lock them in. Because if you can't get the attention, nobody cares how good the verses are if the hook sucks. Like, nobody's going to listen to a song if the hook sucks in. The melody should be distinctive. It should be unique. It should be different than the verse. And the hook also has the be different from other songs because that's what you're competing against you're competing against other catchy songs the songs that's on the radio all of the hooks are catchy and how you will come up with different melodies is to play around with different intervals different progressions different octaves jump around different deliveries you would experiment with that so let me show you this song right here i'm gonna use the chris brown under the influence song because the hook is catchy like it's catchy it's a catchy hook so let's go through some of it i don't want to play all of it because i don't want to get the video um struck or anything so you see you heard what he said you know what you did you did to me it's like it went up in a falsetto right your body language speaks to me your body language you see how he said it it's just a whole to me. i don't know what you do I don't know what you did, you did to me. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what you did, you did to me. Like, that's catchy. That's fun to sing along with. That's fun to follow. Your body like and then language. You hear how he said language different. Your body like it. <laughs> like, it's interesting. <laughs> like, <laughs> your body like it. Your body like it speaks to me see he didn't even say language like you had to say words different like to present the word differently contributes to the melody makes the person want to say language differently that's part of creating a catchy hook and the second song i'm gonna use is a morgan whalen song it's called thinking about me and it's simple like watch how it come on It's simple. He's literally just having a conversation. Like, he's not having triple entendres, not trying to have the best bars. Like, he's not doing none of that. It's simple. Like, now you thinking about me. This in my street. Baby, who do you see? Now you thinking about me. Are you thinking? That's simple. That's a simple melody. It's catchy, easy to follow. A person can sit there and say any part. Simple, right? Simple. It don't have to be too, too wordy, none of the other shit. Like, it can be very simple. Second way that you can make catchy hooks is make the hook simple and memorable. Simple. Like, that's... If you don't take nothing else away from this video, make it simple. A lot of people over complicate this because they want to put a lot of words. They want to make it super, super smart, right? You need to dumb this shit down. Like, especially, like, if you're trying to make a song to reach the masses, go viral, be, like, Old Town Road or anything like that. Like, Trinidad James, I'll go with everything. You need to make the shit simple, right? Even Kendrick Lamar, the super lyrical genius that Kendrick Lamar is, he knows how to make hit singles that are simple. Drake knows how to make shit simple. Kanye knows how to make shit simple. Jay-Z, big pin, pin, spin, the cheese is the... You know what I'm saying? People make shit simple. You don't have to overcomplicate things. You can make complex and do all that extra shit on albums and shit. But if you're trying to make catchy hooks, you need to make shit simple. Like the hook should convey a strong emotion, a message. And another thing that'll help make a hook catchy is making sure it's repetitive. And that's part of keeping it simplistic. A lot of people 
overlook that element. So let me show you some examples. I got 500. This is one of my favorite fucking songs. You play this song anywhere, people fucking know what it is, right? Because the melody is so fucking catchy. Like that was so simple. I got five on it. Simple. <laughs> like this shit is so simple. You gotta stop overthinking and shit. Like that's memorable. And the third thing that you need to make a catchy hook is a strong emotional connection. A good hook establishes a connection. It can bring out an emotion, whether it's joy, aggression, sadness, nostalgic factors, you know what I'm saying? Like you just feel like you go back to a time period with a memory or something. To really think about the tone of your song, the message of your song, and try to figure out how to bring out that emotion in the listener throughout the hook. Like if it's a turn up song, you need to be hyped when you record it. Maybe you're not putting enough energy into your song. Like if you're performing a song, you want people to turn up, you want people to feel a certain type of way, you need to put that emotion, that energy, that drive into the music so that person can feel that through the words. And the perfect example of a strong emotional hook that I'm gonna use for this video is gonna be Drake Marvin's Room, the hook. Tell by the mood and emotion and the tone in his voice, this is a sad song. He's calling the girl like, yo, fuck that nigga that you love so bad. Like, it's relatable. So, if a person was to go through this similar situation and was feeling sad with their girl, they could put this song on and they would sing this shit. It would make them feel a certain type of way. It might make a person think back to a time when they was in a situation like this. You know, so it's like, this is the genius about making music. You want to make music that people can relate to, that people can feel right that's what makes songs catchy if a person can feel it connect to it associate an experience a feeling to the hook to the song that's gonna make them love the song the hook has all the replay value that's why you hear the hook over and over and over and over different times verses change but the hook stays the same that's why so if you've been struggling making hooks make sure you pay attention and go back and take notes through this video to see what you're doing wrong and what you can improve on